places full of magic. Oriental architecture of stupendous beauty. People who are famous for their traditions, hospitality, and zest for life. And a train which follows the traces of this legendary trade route and transforms a ride into a once in a lifetime experience. The journey takes us through a largely unexplored region of the world, through three Central Asian countries, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. The route leads to some of the most important cultural treasures of the historic Silk Road. In the olden days, it was an exhausting trip through dangerous deserts and over freezing cold mountains. But in this private train, the historical Silk Road has been turned into a comfortable and gracious journey. The Orient Silk Road Express offers first-class service with modern compartments, some with private bathrooms. Enjoying the comforts of today, Guests can travel into the past, a journey through time on railroad tracks. The adventure takes you through the heart of Central Asia, along the old trading route which for thousands of years linked two continents to one another, Asia's China to the Mediterranean countries of Europe. Not only silk was transported, but religions, perspectives, and entire philosophies were exchanged between East and West. The train passengers are greeted in the Uzbek city of Bukhara, one of the legendary caravan way stations on the Silk Road. Bukhara boasts dozens of magnificent monuments commemorating the golden age of the Great Silk Road. The opulence of the former trade center is reflected even today in the breathtaking richness of its buildings. a kaleidoscope of over 1,000 years of Central Asian architecture. A visit to one of the city's famous dome-covered bazaars. Not much has changed here, silk cloth, Carpets, embroidery and elaborately painted ceramics are bought and sold here, just as they were a thousand years ago. Handicrafts along the historical Silk Road have a long and distinguished tradition. Then and now, it has always been a home to master craftsmen of all trades. Just 10 kilometers outside the city lies one of the most sacred sites of Central Asia, the famous shrine 
of an Islamic order. During Soviet times, religion was forbidden. Many Islamic women were even forced to burn their veils. Today, the complex is again filled with believers. Uzbek people practice a moderate form of Islam and one that welcomes the curious. Visitors have two whole days to explore at their leisure the cultural heritage of Bukhara. The train journey continues through the steppes of Central Asia where the camel caravans cross the deserts heavily laden with spices, furs and silk. As the arid steppes roll by, passengers can easily imagine how vital the scattered oases were for man and beast. Fortunately, their journey to the train's restaurant does not have to be hazardous at all. Fresh meals are prepared on board daily, including many regional specialities. The atmosphere is relaxed, one quickly gets to know one's fellow travelers. The tour guide gives fascinating background information about the country and people over an onboard radio, also in English. The train crosses the Amu Darya, one of Central Asia's largest rivers and the most important water supply for agriculture in the region. The Orient Silk Road Express is now traveling through northwestern Uzbekistan. The next destination is one of the most famous oasis towns on the Old Silk Road. Pulling into the station at Urgench, the rhythms of the Orient set the tone for a very special day trip. Kiva's medieval center comes straight out of a fairy tale from 1001 nights. Wandering through the lively alleys, it is immediately clear that today silk still plays an important role in Kiva. Freshly dyed, the silks hang in the courtyards to dry. The silk will primarily be used for weaving carpets. Depending on the size and complexity of the design, it could take up to nine months to make a single silk carpet. For wedding couples, the astonishing beauty of Hiva's over 60 madrasas, palaces, mausoleums and minarets make a memorable backdrop. The ideal location for many young Uzbeks to take their vows. Khiva is a perfect example of Islamic artistry. The city bewitches its visitors with an almost dizzying wealth of form and color. The journey along the Silk Road continues. 
Now the train is rolling through the sparsely vegetated desert of Kizilkum in southern Uzbekistan. On the horizon, the Alai Mountains are clearly visible. That this is still an important trade route can be seen as countless tanker cars are passed, mostly filled with crude oil destined for the west. Arrival at Samarkand's train station. It is the most famous stop on the Silk Road, one of the world's oldest cultural centers and once capital of the powerful empire of Timur. Already in Marco Polo's time, the ancient stronghold of Islamic art and learning was known as one of the most beautiful cities of the world. The mosaic gates of the famous necropolis of Shahi Sinda shimmer in silky shades of blue, turquoise and green, an unforgettable panoply of colors. The legendary Registan Square, the heart of Samarkand, and one of the highlights of the journey. Three magnificent madrasas frame the square. These ancient buildings whisper of people and events of bygone ages. At night, Samarkand appears suspended between reality and a dream. Back to Samarkand's train station. After two days of sightseeing, the train sets off again. Today, it's bringing its passengers to one of the most remote corners of Central Asia, to an area that until recently was almost inaccessible to tourists. The fabled Besun region, with its ancient fire-worshipping rituals and shamanic traditions. The people of Besun continue to practice their ancient ways and greet the tour group with the customary songs and dances of the tiny village of Langa Atal. The women are wearing their traditional costumes, the entire village has come together to welcome the far-traveled visitors. With great pride, the village elder tells of his countless children and their way of life in the mountains. This encounter between the people from East and West, from vastly different cultures, is just as it was hundreds of years ago on the Silk Road of old. Then, as it is now, it is an adventure, a journey into a little explored and often untouched landscape. The tracks follow one of the most famous trade routes of the world, even today a major corridor through the cultures of the world. It is a voyage of discovery which awakens the pioneer spirit. 
Those who take the journey will see a myth turn to reality.